Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some MLB action for um, Sunday, June the 16th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools that you see right here to help you make your picks. Okay, so we have are beginning the, the games after the All-Star break, and there's a full slate of schedule for the day. And we're going to take a look at five of the games. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. The first one we want to look at as you scroll down the list is San Diego Padres and Philadelphia Phillies. This is the rematch of the NLCS from last year, and it's the first meeting between the teams this season. If you see the Padres are coming in burning hot, they have won their last two and five out of the last six. Philadelphia is average. They're coming off of two straight losses, and they're four and two over their last six. If you see the pitching matchup, it's Seth Lugo for the Padres and Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. If you take a look at this, um, Wheeler is a better bet at plus $89 on the pitcher profit oscillator, while Lugo has a better ERA for the season at 3.39, but he has a poor bet at and minus 369. If you take a look at the over-under streak, you can see that both teams have been involved in games over the line. While the score predictor has Philadelphia by an 8-5 margin, which would be an over-the-line score in most cases, but if you look at this, the confidence in the prediction is very low right now at 16%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Philadelphia climbed up to plus 27. They dipped down to 22 after their last two losses, while the Padres are at plus 10. And a head-to-head -head matchup, as I said before, they have not yet met this season. The stability factor, if you look at how consistent they have been with regard to their favorite underdog status, you can see here that San Diego on pretty much an upward climb. I mean, they dipped a little bit here, but they have been mainly consistent at plus 16. Well, Philadelphia has been fairly consistent as well, but not as consistent coming in at plus 10. So the way I look at this in the end is I like the Phillies at home, but I'm going to take a hard pass on the over-under bet. Okay, the second one we want to look at here as we scroll down through here is the Dodgers and the Mets. The Dodgers come in burning hot, having won their last four, and they're five and one over their last six. While the Mets are average stats, they're coming off of two losses to the Padres, and they are four and two over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in a combined eight of the last 12. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, on this, you see an upward and downward trend on the line here for, for Los Angeles, but they're on an upward climb at the moment at plus 25, while the Mets were on a hard upward climb since the beginning of the month, and they've taken a slight dip over the last few days, and they're now at plus 14. If you take a look at the score predictor, they have the Dodgers doubling up the Mets 8-4, to four, and the confidence in the prediction is at 65%. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that earlier this season they played three games in Los Angeles with the Mets winning two out of the three games. The stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, Los Angeles plus nine and the Mets at plus seven. Although the Dodgers have not been as consistent over the last couple months, they were already at plus eight on May the 15th. So in the end here, I like the Dodgers. I think they're going to come away with a win here on the road. And I'm going to go with a game over the line. The next game we want to look at is Tampa Bay and Kansas City. Both teams are playing very poor at the moment. You can see both teams are dead up, and both are just one and five over the last six. In addition, you see that both teams have been involved in games under the line in four out of their last six games. The score predictor, though, has Tampa by an eight to three margin, and the confidence in the prediction is at 58%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Tampa Bay was riding high at plus 28 on June the 30th. And you can see they took a dip down to 17, and over the last day, they climbed back up to plus 21. While the Royals have been near the bottom all year, and they're at plus 1. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the teams, they played a four-game series um, at the end of June in Tampa with uh, the team splitting the four games. We take a look at the stability factor. Here's a case where both teams are very, very consistent. Probably the most consistent of any of the teams in the league. Here's plus 30 for Tampa, and here's plus 26 for Kansas City. So they're very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. 
But in the end here, I think this is a Rays game to win. I think they will take it. But I'm going to go low score, so Rays and under. Okay, so the fourth one we're going to look at here is Boston Red Sox and Chicago Cubs. Boston comes in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six. Well, the Cubs are average up four and two over their last six. If you take a look at the pitching matchup, while uh, Cutter Crawford is set to pitch for Boston, the Cubs have not yet named their pitcher. Crawford only has a 4.11 year rate, which is pretty mediocre, but is a solid bet at plus $194. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Boston is up to plus 25. Well, the Cubs have been up and down, and they're sitting right now at plus 9. Uh, if you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in 7 out of the last uh, 12 games. And the score predictor has a 7-3 to three score for Boston, and this is the highest confidence in prediction of the day out of the games we're looking at. This is at 78% confidence. If you look at the stability factor, here's a case where neither team has been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Boston was at a high of plus 5 for the whole season back on April 19th, and they're now at minus 3. While Chicago has been up and down with their uh, stability factor, and they're at plus 1. So I think this is going to be a Boston game on the road. I like them to take this one with Crawford on the mound. I think it's going to be a higher score game. So Boston and over the line. The last one we want to look at here for today, just going down through the list, the full slate of schedule for the first games coming off the All-Star break. So the final one we want to look at right here is Houston and Los Angeles. In this AL West matchup, you can see Houston's coming in average down, 3-3 three and three over the last six. The Angels' dead status and losers are their last five. The pitching matchup is Christian Javier versus Tyler Anderson. Neither have great ERAs at 4.34 and 5.25, but he knows they're both good bets. Anderson at plus $229 on the pitcher profit oscillator. But look at Javier, plus 717. He is an outstanding bet in this one. And the score prediction has Houston in a blowout, 11 to nothing, 52% level of confidence in the prediction. And if you look at the over under, the teams have been involved in games on opposite sides of the line. You see Houston, three of the last four under, while well, Los Angeles, the last five, had been over. The power ranks indicator, Houston was at plus 28. They are now at plus 20, while the Angels are at plus 8. The consistency factor, both teams have been moderately consistent. Um, if you look here at the Angels, they were at plus 10 back on April the 30th, and they are now at plus 8, so they have been very pretty much inconsistent since then, but overall from the season, they have been moderately consistent. All the Astros are here at plus 12. So I think this is an Astros win. I don't see that there's a real great chance for the Angels in this one, but I like Houston to win on the road, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July 16th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.